Kampala's huge population generates about 2,000 tons of waste per day. A lot of this ends up deposited at Chiteze landfill due to a small recycling capacity and lack of sorting. Most of this rubbish is also organic. Marula protein uses it to produce animal feeds and fertilizer using the black soldier fly technology. When you don't waste, you don't sort from the market, it is messy. They bring a lot, a lot of polythene bags here. So we have sorters. Currently we have around five sorters in the markets who do the sorting. All the clean organic waste collected from markets in the city's five divisions is deposited at the factory's premises at Wangoko in an industrial area. So when the waste arrives here, we, we resort it. Then after resorting it, it is put in the shredder. The shredder shreds it into fine particles. Those fine particles, that is the paste. When the shredding is done, the paste is put into these plastic drums for some days. The paste is stored in the drums for four days. The reason why we, we store it in the drums to kill the pathogens that could have come from the markets. And also it is easier for, for larvae to feed on, on waste that has decomposed. Afterwards, it goes into the mixer. The reason why you put it in the mixer is just to get a uniform pest and also to regulate on the water content. So after regulating on the water content, the pest is also put in the crates. We call it inoculation. When the paste is put into the crates, the black soldier fly larvae are introduced to the broken down waste. So we put the pest in the, on the crates and then we inoculate by introducing the baby larvae to the pest. After a period of seven days, the baby larvae have eaten up all, all, all the organic waste and what is left is the residue, which is the organic fertilizer. Then that is where we harvest. During the harvesting stage, we remove the larvae and make animal feed out of them. Then the residue is the fertilizer, which we sell, we, we, we dry and pack as our fertilizer. There are alternatives. We have a hand, uh, a hand shredder, a colloquially made hand shredder that you can just heat. You just pound the organic fertilizer and make quite smaller particles. Whatever you are using, either cut jerry can or, or anything, then you, you, you introduce the baby larvae and you feed. Olive Mwonga says mango trearing would be a business young people can tap into given the little initial investment capital required. You only need a, a small benzene around your place. You need organic waste that you can easily get around your home. You can use animal waste to feed on the larvae. That we are talking about poultry waste, pig waste. You can use, you can also use market waste around you because you can easily use the organic waste that you have in your home. The fertilizers and animal feeds from the maggots have an unlimited market which remains untapped. For example, the price of, 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 of fresh larvae currently is ranging between 2,000 to 3,000. Then the, the, the price of dry larvae is ranging between 4,000 to 8,000 depending on the, on, 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 on the, on the, on the farmer. So this, the farmers keep charging differently depending on the demand they have. Currently we have a lot of demand. Now these are the mature larvae that feed on the waste here. Their residue is used to make fertilizer while these very ones are transformed into animal feed. With this you can address the issue of uh, organic waste in the city as we go for zero waste. Benjamin Jumbe, NTV.